Well, hello there. Welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video, I am so excited to once again be participating in the same six Wednesday 2021 edition. And this is the month of February, uh, where in this uh, month, the six of us ladies who are to participating um, are using items that are sent to us by Lisa Conway. And look how pretty she stamped the envelope. Um, I did cover the addresses, but look how cute. So I'm thinking these things might end up in my project. All right, so all I did was slice open the side here, but I have not taken any of the items out. So let me go ahead and do that. And while I do, ooh, I already see cutesy stuff. Okay, uh, while I do this, um, in case this is your first time stopping by, first of all, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, but what we're doing is uh, Miss Tanya McGuire organized this lovely collaboration where six of us ladies send each other uh, six items and we have to make something with the, our items, at least three items. However, I think most of us try to do use all the items if possible. So here's a little letter from Lisa. It says, I'm so looking forward for, to this collaboration. I hope you enjoy the things I've included for you to play with. I can't wait to see what you do with them. Well, I can't wait to see what I do with them either. <laughs> All right, so here's this. So let's see what the six items are. Obviously, one of the items is this adorable little key. How perfect is that? And some little twine. And I already have an idea that this might go together. <laughs> And look at this lovely coffee dyed index card with this pattern on it. I actually recently picked up some of these plastic placements and I can't wait to try to do something like this. So Lisa, thank you for this. It reminded me that I need to try this, but look how beautiful it came out. I hope mine comes out as pretty. And look at this envelope. Ooh, and it has a card that ma oh my goodness look lady jane ltd look how pretty this is oh my goodness i'm already thinking i might just hoard this one <laughs> instead of using it in the project but i don't know we'll see so pretty i have like a weakness for beautiful greeting cards you know blank cards oh look at that all right, so that's one, two, three, four items. Ooh, five is a page from an old work basket. See the work basket? And let's see, sometimes it tells you what. Yep, October 1960. Check it out. Look at this awesome ad here and here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, fun. Look at this. Oh, no, they're on the, I was going to say they're on different sides, but... The ads are actually on the same side. Darn, because I really like this roses one, but I also like this corset. I think the roses are gonna win. <laughs> Ooh, Tandy leather. leather. I, I had a brief stint of working with leather years ago. Neat. Oh, the, yeah, these are awesome, awesome. And I like these salt and pepper chicks in a nest. That is adorable. And then this part, of course, is also fun. Okay. And check it out. A page from, I'm thinking this is an Audubon Society book. It says the Bird Watcher's Guide. How fun. Look at this image down here. And this is a, yeah, CSS National Audubon Society. Learn Birds Ranges. White Ibis. Yep. We used to see these in Florida all the time. Okay, so enough uh, kind of yapping about that. Um, I'm going to think about what I'm going to do. And um, as you know, I just kind of tend to just jump in and uh, just try something. But I do have to look at these for a minute. And, and um, you know, I like to keep the notes that we get also. So I'm going to pause the video here. But of course, for you, it'll be just a second. Okay, so it's been a few minutes, um, and what I decided to do is, you can kind of still see through this, but um, I just sewed on this back part. Now, what this is, is last month's um, spread, which I did this, um, I used the envelope that the stuff came in, and I did this little spread, but this is blank, and this is, you know, relatively blank. I took out the stamps, 
I was so happy I was able to slice them out of there carefully because they're so pretty. So I probably want to use that too. Um, and um, I also ripped around the pretty little um, images that Lisa had stamped on her envelope. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have my mic on. I am so sorry. I hope you were able to hear me. Um, yeah, I do minimal editing on this, so uh, sorry about that. Okay, um, so like I was saying, I ripped around uh, Lisa's beautiful stamped images. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this and this side. Now, as you can see, the gesso isn't totally dry yet, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I can wipe this up later. Uh, I'm gonna work on this side first. And I am thinking, I, uh, <laughs> I guess this is cheating or whatever, or right off the bat, I think I'm gonna have to hoard this beautiful card. Oh my goodness. So um, I'm not gonna use this. I just, I just can't get myself to like, rip it or something I might if I make a big pocket I might just stuck it in there but for now I'm just gonna set it aside okay and then let's see this is such a nice um, card you know what I do want to do with it it's just round the corners I believe I do have a whoops corner rounder nearby sorry Trinity Trinity just jumped <laughs> uh, let's see do I do I know I have a whole like a large punch darn it I don't have my corner rounder okay no worries uh, I guess I just won't be doing that or can we go old school you know what I want to go old school I, I just want to round the corners I mean this won't be perfect but you know what I'm gonna do and in case you know not everyone out there has corner rounders maybe this will help you I am going to line this up on my mat and I'm going to take this washi and kind of line it up to the top and to the corner there. And I'm going to take just a pen I have handy. This happens to be a little fountain pen that was gifted to me and just do that. So it's going to be kind of a large rounding there. And it won't be perfect because, of course, I'm cutting it. But there you go. That's a rounded corner. I should have done it on this side because this is the pretty side, but that's okay. And then I'm just going to take that little piece and use it as a guide for the rest of it. And again, it still won't be 100% perfect, but I think what I need to do is actually draw it. I'll just do it again. <laughs> it was a little finicky. Okay, go up there. And just draw. Okay. So I may, if I did not speed this up, I apologize. Okay, it has been a little challenging finding time to craft because hubby and I have both been home looking for work. We just moved to the great state of Arizona on faith, really, because of a family need. And um, he just got a great job, which we're very happy about, but I'm still looking. But we've been home, you know together a lot and it just doesn't give me time to craft oh yeah I like that much better all right so let's see next I'm going to rip out this half over here of this and this is already kind of uh what do you call it delicate this paper so probably just bending it back and forth come right apart oh yeah and then this part I can use as a background. I'm gonna opt for the roses. I just love the roses. And we've got some flower theme going on here. This is floral and these little stamps are floral because those are from last month, but that's okay. 
um, you can use that. Um, as part of this challenge, if you're not aware, we are also allowed to use whatever um, items we want from our own stash. So to me, that includes, you know, things from the previous months. Because, you know, whatever's left becomes part of my stash. <laughs> oh, and I love this one right here. For you and your chickadee. So sweet. That's actually very uh, Valentine-ish, huh? For you and your chickadee. Okay. And this. Yeah, the paper is very fragile. So... It's ripping very, very nicely, and very easily. And all these little bits, I'm just going to leave them aside just in case. Okay, so this being a very romantic -y kind of image, you know, with the lace and all, I am thinking, I'm going to make it a, oh, make such a nice tag. Make such a nice tag. I was thinking of making it a pocket, though. And then I already rounded this, but that's okay. I'm going to make it a pocket because it's also very sturdy. And then I'm going to put, I don't want to cover that prettiness. Everything's pretty, but I'm going to do this. And I'm also going to, I'm going to use this as backdrop here. And I'm going to distress this a little bit. Let's see, do I have my favorite? Yes, I do. I have my favorite distress ink over here, which is the vintage photo. And now this is actually the stress oxide. Uh, when I got this, I didn't know the difference. This is what I found, but it works fine too. So I'm just going to taking my Dollar Tree blender thingy here. I was so lucky to find a few of these. Okay. Yes. Nice. And you know what? I actually think I want to do. A little inking around the whole edge too just to define the edge better okay and before I glue it down I just had another idea of what I want to do you know one of my favorite things to do because it's so simple is collage and uh, I hate to repeat myself, but I always call myself the entry level, <laughs> entry level entry here. Um, so thank you to those who have told me you appreciate that. Uh, but uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. And I'm not rounding this. I'm leaving that square. I'm going to use some Uhu stick. Let me use this, this backdrop to glue because it's kind of a scrap right now it might become something else later but right now it's a scrap so kind of there like it simple simple and then this is a nice pocket so see then I can hoard this by sticking it in here but then all around here you're going to be able to see what's there so I'm actually what I'm going to do is oh, this is so you know, very romantic too. This is February. It's, um, what do you call it? Uh, Valentine's month, right? So, uh, I think the romantic theme here is going very, very well. I don't want to remove the work basket. I want to make sure it says the work basket down there. So I want to add this here too. I don't want to cover all this prettiness. Maybe I'll put it here in the corner. And then even if I stick this in here, you can still see it. Yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. So again, I'm going to ink this around. And while I do that, let me just say, I don't think I've mentioned it already this in this video, that all of the participants for the collaboration are going to be linked below. However, our lovely Tanya, who has organized this, has gone a step further than just giving everyone the link to everybody's videos, but she's also organized this so that each one of us has the next person on the list 
as the first one on the link and the links below. Oh my goodness, that sounds so complicated. But basically all that means is that if you click on the very first link that you see in the description box, and then you do that on that video, when you go to, to that video, click on the very first link, um, you will be able to go through all six videos. Uh, by the time you do that and come back to this video, that means you will have seen all of them. Isn't that amazing that she takes the time to do that? I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Tanya. And so, yeah, you get the benefit of that. So after you, whether you've come here from a previous video or this is the first one you're seeing, um, all you got to do is click on the top link and then you'll go to the next one and so on and so forth. And I think that is just an amazing thing that... This Tanya does for us. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, if this is your first time coming to my video, or if for some reason you've come by and you have not already subscribed, I would really love it if you would subscribe. That would, um, and then also, of course, you have to click the little bell so you get notifications and all that. But that way, when I upload, you know, the next videos, whether it be next month's video or any other videos that I upload, you know, you'll be notified of that. That would be awesome. I'd love to have you join me on my little crafty adventures and other miscellaneous things that I do here. Some of the other things that I do are like thrift hauls. I love thrifting. And uh, although recently, and by recently, I mean like the last two years, <laughs> I've been mainly been hooked on junk journaling and you know, the paper crafting stuff. Um, I do also like to do other things. And from time to time, I will share other projects, which is why I called my channel, you know, a version of miscellaneous because I wanted to be able to do miscellaneous videos. And if you watch some of my old, old videos, we used to sell on eBay so we used to do hauls for things that we would sell. More recently, my hauls are either for like personal items or for crafting. My favorite of which, of course, is crafting. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. But we still need. So you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, what's the other ads? I think I'm going to leave that for the other side. Ooh, ooh, the, yeah, these. Let me ink these. Just think them all around because they're a little too white and include these too. So how about, they, already, they still have some sticky on them, but I'm going to go ahead and, you know, put glue stick and I think I'm going to put one this way. Actually, I think I'll put these together almost like, you know, little playing cards like this. Oops, is that upside down? There we go. I like that. Oh, I didn't think that one. It's okay. I can ink it after the fact. There we go. Like it, like it. And let's see. Oh, yeah, perfect. So there's still some empty spaces around. I think what I wanted to do is actually just tear up some of this. It's already inked. And maybe just tear up little pieces and add kind of little bits huh yeah let's just do that why not just add a little something something just a bit there like a little it's almost like i'm doing a background after the fact <laughs> why because i didn't plan i just jumped in right that's what i tend to do that's okay that's how i like it Sometimes I plan, sometimes I don't. I think it still comes out nice. And the most important thing is that I have fun. And I hope you're having fun watching as well. Or perhaps you're crafting along with me. Uh, maybe, you know, you don't have the same six items that we are working with, but maybe you can p find some sim similar items around the house, you know, and uh, craft along. How fun would that be? There's an idea for you. 
you know, see what we got and then maybe, oh, I have this or I have that and maybe join us in playing with some of these similar items. So, okay. There. Just kind of ran them and I didn't even ink them all. I'm just going to kind of like go over it like that afterwards. And of course, this is all in a Yes, yes, I like how that frames it. Maybe a couple little things here. Oh, where's my... On this side. And... Like that. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. yep. Awesomeness. Now, I'm thinking this needs something here, though. Let's see. Oh, what about these lovelies? Okay, let me see. These are a little bit big for this now. A little bit big. Love that fairy. What is this? Is this a flower down here? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. 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 Look, you've got the little chickadees down here. Oh, I hope I'm not I'm in frame. Okay, look at this. I'm going to fussy, well, not fussy, but kind of rip. I call it fussy rip when I try to do it, you know, kind of close, but it's really just ripping around this image. How cute is that? And I just want it to be ripped all around. That's why I'm even going around the edge here. Okay. And you can still see the design. Oh, yes, definitely. Definitely. That's what it needed. And, of course, a little inking all over because it's a little too white. And a little darker on the edges. There we go. Ooh, love it, love it, love it. Just love how it comes together, you know. You just start adding and adding and, and how it just works. I love it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. How cool. Okay, you know what? I also mm -mm -mm, was thinking I should have punched some holes through here. But that's okay. I think I'm just going to do one of these little, um, what do you call them, messy bows. And let's see. Just, you know, go around my finger a couple times like that. And to keep it kind of even. I'm going to just take another piece and tie it around. This makes it easier for me. Tie it around the middle. There we go. And I'm thinking I'm going to have the tiny key tied onto here as well. Just going to make a loose knot so it hangs down a tiny bit. I glue on my fingers. Okay. Let's see. How's that? I got these scragglies. It's a little scraggly, but that's kind of the look I wanted. There. And, of course, you have four. You know what? I'm going to cut them short because I, like, I want the key to really show up there. So I'm going to cut these little pieces short. And there it goes. Oh, yeah. Maybe in the corner like this. I don't want it to cover the birds. 
I'm just gonna put a little glob of blue and this is our glitter glue I think it'll work I'm just gonna do that for a little while <gasps> I love it I love it and have I used all the pages already yes so I've used one two three four five and technically I'm not doing anything to this but I'm using it because I am tucking it in here <laughs> So I am going to cheat that way. Um, I didn't really do anything with the gesso part. That's okay. Um, I still have this image. And uh, let's see. These. And so I still have some things left over from these lovely things that were sent to us by uh, Lisa. And, but for the sake of this video, cause it's already like long enough, <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this as this page, but I will probably later on come back and play and add to this. And that'll just be bonus um, at the end. Uh, and by, by the end, I mean, uh, after the six months on the seventh month, we actually do a flip through of everything we've done. And uh, if I do add to this, you will see it at that time. For now, I'm just going to leave it like this. So let me fold this over so you see the spread that I have done today. And once again, I have used all six of my items. This is one item, it was the um, work basket page. The little key is the second item. The little string is the third item. The beautiful index card is the fourth item. Um, the, uh, the This page, the watcher's guide page it's in here that's the fifth item and the sixth item is kind of my little cheater thing it's just tucked in here <laughs> but i'm not gonna count it because it is here part of the spread <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it i certainly did and definitely please watch everybody's videos by clicking on the first link you see below and then doing that on everybody else's videos as well all right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.